Good evening. It's exhaust night tonight, hopefully, or at least manifold night. So these are the um, the primary manifold runner things. They're going to slot through there. Gasket's already fit to the engine. I think I'm going to protect that bodywork. Uh, I can just see it getting a little bit clunky and clackety around there. So I'll just mask that off now, figure out which which goes where and then get them bolted up and then hopefully we'll have some exhaust sticking out of here for the next update so I'll report back very soon wish me luck alright this is like wrestling an octopus getting this in but I'm getting there one more to go there's a lot of um, yeah it's just a lot of things to hold together and try and keep it all clamped into place and get them all threaded through so what I'm going to do I think is get the Dig the cat out. I think the cat might be way over there. And I will get the zoom back. I will go put, get the cat and then before I tighten anything up, I'm going to get the cat loosely mounted up as well, just to make sure, because I'm sure there's some, some tolerance, there's some tolerance in here to factor in. So that's the plan. One more runner, cat, get them all talked up on the manifold, on the, on the head. Okay, okay, the uh, the manifold is on now on. It's kind of loosely bolted in place, and I've slotted on the um, the slide fit manifold. Uh, it doesn't call for any exhaust paste, so let's make an assumption that we don't need exhaust paste, and they're expanding joints that are not going to leak. Then there is, to clamp it in place, we've got some spring hooks. So these get a lot of comments about how difficult they are to fit. So I've just been trying to do a little bit of prep work. So how these work is when the spring is expanded, the hooks are contracted. So it's like a reverse compression. So what I've done with one of them is using some cable ties. I've pulled the hooks out as far as I can and then kind of clamped it with some cable ties. That gets me pretty close. So if I show you the distance that looks like. So you can see we hooked onto one there. Move the camera around just so you can see I'm only a few mil off. So that's probably just the cat just needs banging on a little bit further. So I might get the persuader out, um, but hopefully I'm a few minutes away. Okay, so my two clips are on. It wasn't too difficult with the cable tie trick. Just had to give the cat a couple of gentle taps. Not with the hammer, with the rubber mallet. So the satisfying bit to snip off the cable ties, I'm not going to do it quite yet. While there's still a bit of loose play in the whole thing, I'm now going to torque up the bolts into the head. So I will do that and then you'll join me back in a couple of minutes to snip those cable ties off. All nicely talked up now, so I'm ready to snip off these clips. Uh, well, if we don't snip off the clip itself, that would be annoying, wouldn't it? Doing stuff with one hand is so difficult. One more. And there we go. So it's now under tension. In theory, holding that on. So let me get underneath. think there we go happy days lambda sensor obviously for in there and the lambda connector is just here so probably run it run it against that chassis rail there 
try and protect it best I can. So, let's see what's next. Final little job for tonight is my 19mm hole saw arrived. So I'm going to plonk some holes in here and then put two of these elbows in and then connect up the breather hoses for the catch cam. So I'll knock that out quickly now and then uh, we'll call it a wrap, I think. So I've got my hole saw holes sawed all ready to go and then I've put the rubber elbows in some, in some hot water just to... It's very cold in here, just make them a bit more easier to manipulate so I now need to fish them out um, so I'll give those um, I'll get them slotted into there and then we'll bring the catch can over to the car and get the pipe slotted into the elbows hopefully while they're still warm and pliable so I'll uh, put the camera down and uh, hopefully show you when it's all done in a couple of minutes now we have it catch can on I don't love these hose joiners to be honest they just push fit I mean they're, they're pretty snug in there but Seems like a recipe for these popping out and spraying oil everywhere. So I'm gonna just put some paint pen markers on here just so I can keep an eye on them. I'm gonna start running the running the car on track. Which gives me a quick visual reference to see whether they're popping out or not. So that's another job ticked off anyway. Still not found the uh where the oil temp, uh, oil pressure sender plugs in, to be honest. I'm wondering if it's down in this little bundle here. I can't see it, so yeah. One, two. But just get back on the floor and have a roll around, see what I can find. So I think that concludes another episode. The exhaust's on. The next one, if you remember, I did the the prop and the differential all out of sequence. I wanted to do it while I had some helping hands available. So pretty much every, everything I've done the last couple of videos has been, should have come before the prop and the diff. So that feels pretty good now because it means I'm, I'm jumping ahead several pages in the manual. So the handbrake's already in, the diff's in, the prop shaft's in. So the next bit of work is to prepare the Dedean tube. Yes, looks looks pretty fun. And then rear suspension on and stuff. So ticking the big jobs off. Exhaust looks great. I'll catch you all next time.